There are many times when working on a song that you would like to take the MIDI notes that you're playing and move them up an octave or down an octave. Now, there are many reasons why you'd want to do that. For example, you might want to play it with a different instrument, or you might want to play it a different time for a different effect at a different octave than you originally did. And that's exactly what I did with this example I have here. In the song here, I put together a guitar that's a Gibson with some vibrato effect added to it. And the melody is played one time originally, then a second time again, and a third time right near the end. Let's listen. You can tell exactly what it sounds like. I'll open up the lower zone. Here you can see that the notes are generally between the C4 and C5 octave. And now if I play that, let me select it. I'll type P to select that range for it. And let's hear it. Now, I played it the first time, and then when I go to the second time, what I did is I changed the articulation of the guitar, and I added some other instruments. So we got some variety by using that method. I'll play a brief part of it so you can tell that it's different. Okay, so that's the effect that I wanted. Now we're going to go to the third time at the end, and there I want to repeat, for the most part, the sound that we had originally, but it's at the original octave. As you can see down here again, it's between C4 and C5, and what I wanted to do is go up an octave. Well, there are a few ways to do that. One of them, which is a bit harder, is to first of all go down to the key editor, click in there, and type Control or Command A to select all of the notes, and with your mouse, click on it and drag up to the corresponding octave up. Okay, you can do it that way. But that's a little tricky. And you have to watch out for alignment left to right that is not getting out of sync. You can hold down the control key while you're doing that to keep it in alignment. I'm going to type control Z to go back. Another thing you could do is just hitting your up arrow 12 times. One, two, three, four, and so on. And that's a pain also. However, the easiest way to do it is once you've selected all the notes with Control or Command A, you hold down the Shift key and the up arrow. Watch this. There it is. It's now an octave higher. And if I play it, there we go. So it was just a simple matter of taking the MIDI notes and selecting them all, go into the key editor, select them all with Control or Command A, and then hitting Shift Up Arrow. If you wanted to go down, it'd be Shift Down Arrow. 